What's up, Dirt Nerds? I'm George, and it is Dirt 30. Finally. Let's see what we're going to be digging into today. What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a good day. I know I am. I'm out here making a video for you. Finally. It's been a minute, I know. Uh, it just hasn't really had anything to do. I've been just kind of down and bummed and... Yeah. Price you pay when you decide to not work anymore. Um, you don't have any money to play with or that, that kind of limits what you can go do. Wife's covering every, most everything, which and that's making me feel kind of bad too. So probably going to try to find me at least a part-time job. Give me a little something going just so I can have funds for content. <laughs> have funds for some fun. But in the meantime... Uh, a couple of quick mail call shout outs here I really want to do and a couple other things as I'm sure you saw in the title so first off first and foremost I uh, received this letter a few days ago it's my first Christmas card of the year which I'm quite grateful for it comes from let me try to block it out there I don't know if you can see the name there yeah probably not yeah, it's my Uncle Al over at, over at uh, Oldies and Goodies he just says, call him Uncle Al. He's not my, my, my biological uncle. It's my YouTube uncle. And it's a really nice, lovely Christmas card. It says, George, may your home be filled with the joy of Christmas to share with your loved ones. Happy New Year, oldies and goodies, a.k.a. Uncle Al. Thank you, Uncle Al. I really appreciate that. That is awesome. And there's a little thing stuck inside here. I hope it's not aspirin. I don't have a headache. <laughs> Let's see what it is. It's a, there you go. Let me let me show you what it what it is there. Not a product advertisement. They are not a sponsor of this channel. <laughs> How neat! It is a Valcambi little Valcambi Swiss, one gram silver bar. How <laughs> cool. Thank you, Uncle Al. That is greatly appreciated, my friend. How awesome. And I love the card. I'm going to be putting that up on my... I have a segment of wall out there in my living room. There's a little little uh, post that comes out. And that's where I put all my Christmas cards. Kind of like a little Christmas card tree. <clears throat> so that'll be, that'll be going up onto my Christmas card tree. Thank you very much, Uncle Al. I appreciate it. And a Merry Christmas to you as well. I'm going to try and get cards out. Um, again, with no money, it makes it a little tough. Postage isn't free. <laughs> so I'm working on some stuff. I'm going to get some money rolled around in here. I'm going to try and get cards mailed out. Um, hopefully they'll be out and received before uh, before Christmas. So, so second one up here. I got a, got a letter in the mail the other day. From my good friend. Here we go ahead again. See if I cover up, cover up the address here. So, right, right, there we go. You can see my address. It goes by the name of Jason Brown. Over at Draco's Dragon. My boy Draco. If, 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 you, if you didn't know. I'm pretty sure I already told him. Uh, I used to have a bearded dragon. And his name was Draco. He was awesome. How oh, cool is this? Nice. <laughs> uh, it's not really a letter in here. It just says a uh, little something tapes here. It says, for the impossible bank. And I know what that means. 1964 nickels. <laughs> nice. So you, got, you got, sent me uh, six of them bad boys there. So that's six more of the 1964 nickels. That are going out of circulation. So I get a lot of questions. A lot of folks ask me, "What's what's up with the 1964 nickel? Why why the 1964 nickel?" Yes, there are some possibilities for errors and varieties on the 1964 nickel. My purpose is not that they're silver. There's nothing other really special about this nickel, 
Other than that, there is over six billion of these coins in circulation of this one particular year. And, it, you know, I wish I could show you some of the toning on these is like, just if you, if you look at them, some of them, you know, you could really easily be fooled like, oh, ooh, that's a, that's a really old one. That's a good old. The 64. It never failed. I, I, I've, I've seen them from the sides. You know, they get this nice dark toning. It almost looks like, ooh, that could be silver. It has, you know, the edges are kind of rounded. Oh, it's worn. No, oh, that's going to be old. Nope. It's a 1964. 64 galore is what I call them. I'm sure there's quite a few other folks out there that do as well. So the 1964 nickels, there's just way too many in circulation. And it makes it a pain in the butt when you're coin roll hunting nickels. Because you think you got something cool? Nope. Just a 64 galore. <laughs> so I made it my personal mission to remove as many of these out of circulation as I can and fill this giant steel bank that I have over here uh, with all of those nickels. Uh, there's only an import, there's no out, there's no way to get them out. Like, technically, there, I mean, there is a way, but good luck. The other option is cut the thing open. And it's, you know, I think it's about a eighth inch thick steel plate. <laughs> it's heavy and it's thick. You ain't cutting that open. <laughs> Not that easy. So, let me go ahead. I'm going to flip you around. Let me show you the Impossible Bank. All right, so, like I said, this is the Impossible Bank. It is a giant steel obelisk type just, yeah. I picked this up at my Goodwill for a few bucks. I, I just, I, I couldn't pass it up. And like I said, there is no other openings. Goes to a point at the bottom and it's welded to the to the stand. You see there's a point up there, welded. Now the in slot is actually sleeved. There is a metal sleeve that goes around just inside that slot that goes in about two, three inches. So that you can't just, you know, do the whole tip it on its side, get a butter knife and shoot, you know, try to kick them out the little the little hole there. No, 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 no. That doesn't work. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm up to 13 rolls in the Impossible Bank. And I do believe in my 64 Galore DeWalt container here, that's at least another roll of 64s right there. So I'll be adding, count them up, and then... And drop them into the bank so that'll be at least 14 rolls of 64s out of circulation now and in the impossible bank never to be seen again hopefully <laughs> there we go so thank you draco that was excellent i love that because i'm pretty sure that that made sure that I, that topped me over so i have another roll to add in uh making it 14 rolls now locked up in the impossible bank so now you know if you if you ever want to know now you know that's why 1964s because there's just too dang many of them and they look like an old coin they look it's like who is it going to be 40 something 30 no 64 <laughs> all right so moving on with the very very end part here uh, I got my shout outs done. Thank you very much, Uncle Al, and thank you very much, Draco. Appreciate that. Happy holidays to everybody as well. If, if I don't make it, if I can't get the cards out in time, um, then just please accept my, my humble, humble, humble apologies. And have a wonderful holiday. Whatever holidays that, that it is that you celebrate, what, you know, wherever you are, whoever you are, uh, it doesn't matter. For for us over here, this is a time of giving and a time of loving and just being good to good to our fellow man. Doesn't matter where you are, who you are, just our fellow humans. There we go. It's not just fellow man; it's my fellow woman as well, women included. You know, 
my dirt nerd hats. <laughs> so, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and, yes, one final time. And I will give it at that sweet, sweet price that I set before. Eight ounces of pay dirt containing a guaranteed one gram of gold. From fines all the way up to large flakes pickers. Um, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a mix. You'll get a little bit of everything in there. $40 plus shipping. That's under cost. And I will be shipping in a priority box, so it's $48.50. Um, you want to, again, you want to save that few bucks? You want me to put it in a padded envelope? 45 bucks. That's pretty much cost. I'm losing money by doing this, but I don't care. Um, just, I'm just, I break even on it, essentially, maybe even lose a little. It's, it's whatever. It's whatever. $40, gram of gold, guaranteed. May even be a little bit more than a gram. Don't know. But I put a gram of gold into the dirt. There you go. And if you're interested, I only have four. I got four of them. Uh, first four people. And yes, the shipping charge is per bag. Um, because I know if I put two of these into one box, it's more than eight fifty. Because I've had to pay it. Uh, well, it may be it may be only eight fifty, but you know I'll I'll find out for sure. Um, but if you know if you want them all, we'll work something out for for shipping uh, for all of them. If you know if you want all four, but that's what it is. So let me know. Hit me up. Email in the description below. Make sure you send me an email. I'd prefer to you know con get contact that way. If you're outside the United States. I want to be able to say yes, I can send it to you. But you're going to be paying a lot more for shipping and I'm not guaranteeing that it can that it's going to arrive to you, you know, that 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 would be it, you know. You you, you know, if you want it, cool. I I will we'll work something out. I'll get it sent. But I'm not guaranteeing that it can make it to you outside the United States. <laughs> With that said, feel free to hit me up, send me an email, and we'll figure it out. Otherwise, first four folks to hit me up for a bag, got it. $40 plus shipping. You decide the shipping. You want an envelope, I'll put it in an envelope, $45. You want it in the priority box, $48.50, because that's how much it costs now. There you go. And just a real quick shout out to everybody. Uh, my good buddy Ray's World. I love the man. He's an awesome dude. Really need to get him back up to a thousand. Get him up to a thousand subscribers so that he can go back to doing his live streams. I miss it. I miss him. I get my weekly. You know, I, I still get my weekly Ray, Ray's World uh, fix, but you know, the live streams are more fun and there's a lot more interaction and that's what I enjoy and the. Let's, let's get my boy back up there to a thousand. He's at seven hundred now. He's doing a giveaway, so go check him out. Um, and there's links to Ginger in Japan, who's also doing is Ginger Miss, Mary Ginger Miss, my brother. And just you know, make make sure you go go find these people, go check them out. Uh, I'll, I will try to get their links in in the description before I put everything together when I do my editing. Um, and yeah, there we go. Yes, the beard is still here. I haven't shaved it yet. It's getting really thick, bushy. Kind of like it. The wife digs it because it doesn't tear her face up when I kiss her. <laughs> so, that's what we... Uh, yeah, just going to leave it for now. We'll see how it goes. Keep waking up uh, having after having nightmares of drowning in hair. And then I can't... Uh... <laughs> just kidding. That's... That, that's... I thought that would be funny, but just me. I have a weird sense of humor. All right, everybody. So this video is already more than long enough. Um, 
you're interested in the gold, send me an email. Other than that, have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. Wherever you are, it is Dirt 30. Go dig in that dirt. Go look for some treasures. Go look for some gold. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever it is that you got to do, it's out there waiting for you. Just got to get up, get out, go do it. Talk to you soon. Love you all.